1861, the year of the Civil War, the year Abraham Lincoln was inaugurated as president and the birth year of the oldest ice cream shop in America. Just for comparison, McDonald's was founded in 1940, meaning this shop has been around almost twice as long. Rumor has it they have some of the best ice cream in America, but is that true and how have they managed to stay in business for so long? There's only one way to find out. Calvin? What? Pack your bags, we're going to Philly. Oh baby! On our way there, I got in contact with Alex, the sixth generation owner of this ice cream shop, and the man who's gonna act as our guide through most of today's video. Hey, I'm Cohen. Good to meet you, Cohen. Nice to meet you, Alex. Sorry, my hands are so cold. <laughs> so this is the shop. This yeah, the yeah. Business. Give us a give us a tour. Uh, yeah, all right. So it's kind of small, but we're here in the Reading Terminal Market. This countertop is original from when the market opened. It's my great 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 grandfather that opened this company back in 1861. So the company got started. We've got about a 400 square foot space. We got over 40 flavors. We're gonna be scooping some of that today? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that. We've got over 80 different vendors in the Reading Terminal Market. All different types of foods. So you can do your grocery shopping here. You can get the best steaks and seafood and, and vegetables. But they also have a lot of prepared food options as well. You can uh, you can buy the Reading Terminal Market in Monopoly. So I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. That's insane. Yeah, how do you pronounce it, by the way? Masses. Masses. Yep. Right, we, were, we were talking about that yesterday. <laughs> After giving us a tour, we suited up in our uniforms. If we were going to figure out the secret to Bassets, we needed to spend a day in their shoes. So, here's the plan. First, we'll learn the basics, how to make cones and scoop ice cream. Second, we'll learn about the milkshakes and even experiment with creating our own flavor. And lastly, we'll try some of the flavors, giving Bassets a final score on a scale of 1 to 10. We're going to get you guys started with... Uh with showing you where all the flavors are and how to scoop a proper ice cream cone. What's good form for scooping ice cream? The trick is you start at the end of the bucket and you pull it down towards you. Really what you want to do is get the size scoop that you're looking for made in the tub, then lift it out onto your cone. I say it's almost like making a snowball. And when you set it in the cone, set it like you're setting a football. So like look for the tallest end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I almost lost it. <laughs> After coaching us up a bit, we started to understand the art of scooping an ice cream cone. Alex explained that everything down to the order in which you stack the flavors matters. I always pick the more uh, rich and full flavor for the bottom, and then we put the, um, the lighter one up on top. But what's the process to making one of your cones? We have waffle cones, sugar cones, cake cones, and we dip some of our waffle cones in enrobing chocolate and then um, either roll the cone in the rainbow sprinkles or you would drizzle the sprinkles over top of the cone and it would um, cover the cone in those beautiful decorations. Now that we understood how to properly scoop and serve an ice cream cone, it was time to learn about milkshakes. We started by learning about the proper ice cream to milk ratio and then Alex showed us around the machine. It's got three speeds and then we've got a throttle control right here. And what you're trying to do is pierce that ice cream like straight through the middle. Okay. Because what can happen is if you're off center, the ice cream might grab onto the spinner and then you'll wear the milkshake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we then decorated the cup and of course every milkshake needs whipped cream. But little did we know, Alex had a challenge for us. Okay, what are we gonna do, Alex? All right, we've got it. Now we've uh, seen the market, we're gonna go and find some ingredients and make some awesome milkshakes. We're gonna make our very own milkshake. And hopefully it's good. If I seem nervous, well. <laughs> I was. Even though I've tried hundreds of ice cream flavors, never once have I made a flavor myself. And to make the stakes even higher, if we could impress Alex, he promised to add it to the menu. My plan was this, create the ultimate Texas-themed milkshake. So here are the ingredients we collected. Pecan diamonds, pecan bars, and some cinnamon sugar. I really wanted to go for that southern hospitality type flavor. But just when we were about to give up looking for ingredients, we found the final missing piece to our milkshake. Oh, what is this? Hiding away like the perfect honey soaked pecans. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, this is what we need. That's what right? we need. That's okay. All right. We so got to go with that. Yeah, we're going to go with this. <laughs> okay, this is going to be, I have a feeling this is going to be great. You like it? Yeah, I think Are you a honey guy? Who's not a honey guy? Yeah. That's right, that's right. With each of our newly found ingredients in hand, we began creating our milkshake. We tried a few different flavors of ice cream to determine which would be best, but for this first attempt, we kept it safe and went with vanilla. So we're gonna need vanilla ice cream. We're gonna put that in our malt cup. We're gonna blend that up with our chopped pecan bar and the honey pecans. And then after that's all blended up, we'll put it into the milkshake, but we can decorate the cup with a uh, caramel syrup, whipped cream, dust it with cinnamon sugar. Let's try this thing. 
There we go, dude, it looks, it looks amazing. The milkshake was good, but it really wasn't anything special. So Calvin and I knew we would need to turn the flavor up a notch. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do uh, half cinnamon, half pralines and cream. Mm -hmm. See what that, see what that does. All right. By replacing the vanilla with half cinnamon and half pralines and cream, the milkshake had a huge boost in flavor. And after a few more small adjustments, we finally created what we're calling the cinnamon pecan crunch. Oh. Mm. I think we got a new uh, recipe for our menu. Yeah, the pecans are really good in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's good. It is good. Yeah, I think I'm great. It does say by the cinnamon pecan. It's like cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, we'll write that uh, recipe up. We'll That's have the card crunch. ready and, and uh, we'll put that up on our menu. Heck yeah. <laughs> our first ice cream flavor, Calvin. All right, so it's been a pretty awesome day so far, but we're gonna put your skills to the test now. Everything that you've learned all comes down to this. Calvin and I will be facing off in a double scoop waffle cone challenge. The prize, a specially handcrafted ice cream scoop. Here's what the judges are looking for. Height, weight, flavor profile, combination. I need pizzazz, nothing boring. Give me toppings, give me chocolate. Looking for some love, I'm looking for some really good flavor combination. Okay. The love is the most important love. All right. Three, Three two, two, one, one go. go! Ooh, rainbow sprinkles. Oh. Yeah, Calvin copied me. <laughs> Just because you went first, I was going to do this anyway. Oh. This is the hardest part, guys. The second scoop. The second scoop. You need to break your cone here before the ice cream falls off. So let's see what happens. Oh okay. my gosh! Maybe he's my man. <laughs> All right, there it is. That's yes. my hat. Oh gosh. Yes. I got I got mint on the bottom. I actually like the top. Up the vanilla on the top. I have <laughs> mint chocolate chip and then blueberry, pomegranate, and chocolate chip. Oh. Taste test, arguably uh, the most important part. I'm feeling good. I was nervous at the start, but you know, no pressure, no time. Calvin, you're my man. That gave Cross the board. I okay, okay. Cross the board. You did not disappoint me. Performance, flavor, pizzazz. Mm. He gave the pizzazz. That's my friend. <laughs> to the winner. All for you, Calvin. Yeah. You wow. I feel very blessed. <laughs> Thank you all. Awesome. Thank you all. Yeah. <laughs> With the training now complete, I was starting to understand what makes Bassett so special. But in order to give my complete thoughts, I wanted to sit down with Alex and ask some final questions. What do you think is the secret to staying in business for so long? You're not going to stay around if you don't have a high quality product. So we are very focused on maintaining my great grandfather's ice cream recipe. He set us up with a 16 and a half percent butterfat Philadelphia style ice cream. And Philadelphia style ice cream in general being made without any egg yolk. And we use a very high quality Madagascar bourbon vanilla bean blend. Is it puts an emphasis on the fresh taste of the dairy, the cream. Whereas a French style, which we also have, is gonna have egg yolk in it. It's gonna have a little bit more of a custard experience to it. After spending the day with Alex and trying numerous flavors, it was clear to me why Bassett's has been in business for so long. Not only is their ice cream amazing, but the people who work there are even better. You can probably tell just from watching this video, but Alex has a passion for ice cream that is truly unmatched. But with all that being said, at the end of the day, here were my final thoughts. It was amazing. Like, it was amazing. We'll show the clips to speak for itself, but I'm thinking it's one of the higher, higher rated ice creams we've tried for sure. And I think the texture of it is elite. So. I'm thinking like 9 out of 10. If you're in Philadelphia, you gotta go. It was nice talking to you guys. I will join you for another review forever. <laughs> <laughs> Sign up.